Now let's understand the topic notice writing in detail. First of all, what is the definition of a notice? What can be a notice? The definition has been written for you. A notice is a piece of note put anywhere where everyone can see it. Actually, it provides a detailed information or instruction about something. Suppose you have got to get all the students of the group or a huge crowd of people to be informed about something, then you can write some notice and then you can just put it somewhere at a place where public can see it. So that is notice. Notices are put actually for displaying some information or instruction, which are some special notices. Okay, now let's actually talk about some of the norms, some of the rules which certain must be kept in our mind in order to write a notice. While framing a notice, while preparing a notice, these things certain must be kept in our mind so that the notice certain must be very good. Notice should be attractive. So the first thing is notice should be presented in a box. Just see here, notice certain must be presented in a box. As you can see, just I have made a box here. Do you see the box? This is the box. So notice certain must be kept in a box. See, the box has been made in blue color. Okay. The next point is write short and simple sentences as much as possible. Be precise and accurate. Write simple and short sentences mean what? You have to write the sentences which said and must be only simple. Simple sentence. Actually, there are three types of sentences. Simple sentence, compound sentence and complex sentence. So, do not try to complicate the things. Write short sentences and simple sentences. Simple sentence can be Ram it's a mango. So, like this. And be precise and accurate. Precise means what? You have to stick to the topic. Should not be going anywhere, anywhere else. So be precise and be accurate. You have to be precise and accuracy. Accuracy should be maintained. The next point is use passive structures of the sentences. You must have read. You must have read voice, active voice, and passive voice. So try to use as as much as possible passive structures of sentences. Ramit Samango, this is the active voice. What is the passive voice of this? The passive voice will be a mango is written by Ram. Isn't it? So try to use passive sentences as much as possible. The next point is always use formal words. What is formal? Formal means not slangs, not informal words. Informal words can be bullshit. Bullshit is an informal word. Suppose you uh, abuse somebody then those abusive languages are slangs they are informal words so try to use always the formal words because this notice is a formal form of communication so try to use formal words the next point is your notice framed should be answering to all the w's look at the way i have written w's when we try to make plural of some acronym, some short form, then we put an apostrophe and then write S to make that acronym plural. So your notice should be framed while framing a notice. You have your notice should and must be answering to all W's. What are these all W's? These all W's are where, when, who and whom. These are the all W's. Yeah, even what as well. So these are the all W's. These are the all W's. What, where, when, who and whom. What are you writing? Where should it address to? When, who, whom. So these sort of things should and must be answered in your notice. Last but not the least, main thing of a notice writing is that you have to strictly stick to the format of a notice writing stick to the format of notice writing what is the format of notice writing the format of a notice writing sudden must be looking attractive the first point how is the format of a notice writing just see i have prepared a notice for you 
of our school modern english school kuntini ka namada notice 29th april 2020 donation required for corona victims okay so let's talk about the format of the notice writing first of all write in the center of your line you should and must be writing name of issuing organization or authority who is issuing the notice so our school modern english school is issuing some notice so that is why name of organization this is the name of organization modern english school kundinagar namada so this should be right at the top in the middle okay now the second point the word notice this word notice itself should and must be put in the center so that it should be looking it should be eye catching it should be fascinating it should be attractive so notice exactly as the same next thing is day date day is optional you can put day if you want to write day you can you are free to write that day otherwise no need to simply put a day you are free to write only date so date see this is the date 29th april 2020 this is the date next one is what title title or topic of the notice title or topic of the notice should be right after the date see this is a date this is the date and right after this each and everything yeah one more thing while writing topics or sub topics you have to pay attention that each and every words first letter each and every words first letter this is the first letter r this r is the first letter so this is capital this c is the first letter so this is capital so you have to pay attention that while writing the headings the first letter of each and every word said it must be capital next the body of the notice this is the main thing that we should and must be keeping we should and must be paying attention to okay body of the notice body of the notice should be written first of all these all five norms that just we talked about should be kept in mind while preparing or framing some notice and then we will be writing our body body should be started with some sentence like this is to be notified that this sentence can initiate a generalized notice even you are free that you are not uh, strictly said that you should and must be using only this thing but you should be using this thing this is generalized approach okay so this is the body of the this is the body of the notice having written this body of the letter yeah sorry sorry not letter we are talking about notice so having finished writing the body of the notice at last we will be writing our name the notice writer's name suppose in a question the amita or uh, sorry in notice the amita or or amit is writing some letter so sorry not letter uh, notice so their names have been printed here and then what is their designation designation means rank what is their designation or what is their designation designation means rank so the rank in the school or the issuing authority they are head boy amit is a head boy or amita is a head girl that is why it has been written like this so like this you will be writing yeah one more thing always try to be concise always try to be precise always try to be accurate there is some all there is always some word li, word limit in writing a notice so pay attention to word limit as well so that is all we have got for your information i am just sending this whole thing as a pdf to you all so enjoy hope you are fine stay safe at your homes see you in the next video thank you